What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Comic Book Nerd, where we talk all things major movie television news. I am your host on the channel, Grant Sullivan. And in today's video, we have the Fantastic Four official team and the villain reportedly revealed cast members as well. So we're going to go ahead and talk in talk about all of that in today's video. But first, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to drop a like and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any of the latest videos. It's going to be Monday's video for you guys. I have work. So... We are talking about the Fantastic Four casting and the villains, so let's just go ahead and pop into it. I know a lot of you guys have already heard the rumors, so we'll just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so, my time to shine hello on Twitter. If you don't know who he is, he is a very, very credible source slash insider, I guess you would say, on the channel. Or on Twitter as well. He is a great scoopster. A lot of people trust him. I certainly trust him. He's gotten a lot of things right in the past, but... My Time to Shine Hello has tweeted that the hashtag Fantastic Forecast is Adam Driver as Reed Richards, Margot Robbie as Sue Storm, Paul Mescal as The Thing, or as Johnny Storm, and then David Diggs as The Thing. Now, that is the rumored Fantastic Four casting members, and we will talk about that later in the video. But Antonio Bendez is also rumored to be playing the villain Galactus in this movie. So, it looks like Marvel Studios is going to be having a casting announcement soon. I am hoping it's at SDCC, but we'll also talk about that towards the end of the video as well. So, my thoughts on this casting, I think Adam Driver and Margot Robbie will have great chemistry together. I think all of this team, all of these people in this team will have a lot of good chemistry together. Let me know what you guys think of the casting, though, in the comments down below as well. Margot Robbie, obviously, being Harley Quinn in the DC Universe, I think a lot of people are going to be seeing that in the DC Universe. I think a lot of people are going to be comparing them, just like Adam Driver as Kylo Ren. But, I think overall, David Diggs is a really, really great casting for the thing as well. I really like some of his work. If you guys have watched Snowpiercer, you guys should definitely check out that show. That show is really, really good. He is great in that. And then Paul Mescal as, the, as Johnny Storm. He is Jewish, so I do like that casting. Marvel said that they did want a Jewish per actor to play the thing because the thing is Jewish in the comics as well. Obviously, number one thing, though, is that this team needs to have chemistry because obviously in the comic, or not in the comics, but in this movie, Kevin Feige did say that this is not going to be your normal origin story as we will already see where the Fantastic Four team is in the MCU and we will get some type of... I guess not origin story, but we will get something along the lines of they're already cast in the MCU, they've been here this whole time, sort of thing. So obviously we do know about that. That's what that's why they need to have great chemistry together because they will already be married in this in this movie. Obviously, uh, Paul Mescal and Adam Driver need to have great chemistry in this movie as well because obviously they are best friends in the comics. They start, they met, meet each other all the way in college and then go on there basically to the end. And then the thing is obviously just a suit that he's going to put on. I would say it's cosmetics, but he, David Diggs looks like a great casting member for the thing as well. I could go on about that, but I'm not going to. So hopefully, regardless about that, we will get a Comic-Con announcement, hopefully, of the Fantastic Four. Now, depending on the writer strike of America, obviously, you guys have heard about the writer strike. If you didn't, I will check out the video that I did in the comments down below. Or, and I will put the link as well. You guys can check out the writer strike update as explained as well. But, regardless, the writers are on strike. And if the deal does not come to an agreement on July 1st, then the actors and those people will go on strike as well which means that no no movies are getting heard we obviously already know that we have heard that the thunderbolts are going to be getting delayed or they're being paused to put on production for marvel studios as well due to the writer strike we know blade is getting a ton of rewrites right now they've already had their third script writer so obviously we know that blade and the Thunderbolt are obviously put on pause. We also know that the Wonder Man series production has been halted as well. They were filming in LA and they stopped because of this writer strike. They said, we're not going to try to pay for any of these things. Let's just go ahead and pause production here. We've already got what we need to, and we also need to work out a deal with the writer strike. Now, an update on the writer strike is that Netflix looks like to be the only one who hasn't signed a deal. So hopefully, 
Netflix can go ahead and keep going. Hopefully Netflix agrees to that deal as well. But obviously, this is your MCU Fantastic Four. I think it's great casting. Adam Driver, Reed Richards, Marco Robbie as Sue Storm. I don't know about Marco Robbie yet. I know that a lot of people are going to be seeing her as Harley Quinn. That's who I'm going to be seeing her as. Adam Driver, I am definitely going to be seeing a lot of Kylo Ren. I think there's a lot of talks about him. But he does have great range. He can do anything. If you saw 65, it was a fantastic movie. You guys should go check out 65. He did awesome in that with Sony. I think he can pull off the Fantastic Four as well. But that is the Fantastic Four cast and villain as well. We also heard Captain America 4. Obviously, again, with the Rider Strike, they can't do rewrites as well with the Rider Strike. So there's a little update for you guys along with this Fantastic Four casting news as well. I'm hoping we get a San Diego Comic-Con announcement on the Fantastic Four, but Marvel Studios may not even be in attendance for Comic-Con this year because of the writer's strike. Uh, hopefully that's not true, but I have been hearing a lot of stuff about that as well. Let me know, uh, as always, your thoughts in the comments down below about Adam Driver being Reed Richards, Margot Robbie, Sue Storm, Paul Mescal as uh, Johnny Storm, and then... David did as the human or as the thing as well. Let me know all of that in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. The Fantastic Forecast is set. I think it's a great casting regardless though. We also had the update about Emma Stone, which we will do a short about that as well. But that's all and I let me know again your comment or your thoughts on the casting in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.